Okay, there's several things I'm going to talk about today. Um, first off, uh, I'm going to point out, I'm putting the link here uh, at the top of Casey Nunez's video about shoes. That's the most important thing you need to pay attention to. That uh, He pointed out, and it's so logical, so logical. You put your face mask on, put your gloves on, put your glasses on, all that. <clears throat> then you go down to the supermarket and you think you're safe. While you're walking across the floor that's covered with the spit and the droplets that have been put there by people coughing and sneezing and all this kind of stuff. All right? What do you got there? What? I, I, that is a bra. You do not need a... Excuse me. Uh, stop. 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 No, get down. Go, 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 go. Go get another bra. Go! Jesus Christ. Go. That's many. Don't worry about many. Many, many cool. Many cool. Uh, she brought me a bra. She said, I need a bra. Jesus Christ. The world's gone mad. Anyway, um, you're walking across the floors that's covered with, with contaminants, okay? And you come home and you wash your hands and you comb your hair and you take your gloves off with toothpicks and all that kind of stuff. And you're walking around with your shoes on. Now, I myself have been locked down for almost a month. The only store I've walked into is Specs Liquor Store. First customer in the morning. Everything's already been mopped up. Everything's ready to go for the day. And I still come home and I still spray my, my, my shoes and everything. So I'm not worried about it. But most people don't do that. Most people don't do that. So when you go in a store, be aware you're walking through the virus. That's on the bottom of your shoes. Okay? Just be aware. Uh, there are several levels of this thing. And this is not... The second thing I'm going to talk about is conspiracy theories. Um, excuse me. The butcher shop has uh, gone a new angle, and, and there are some people that don't agree with it, but I'm just going to lay it on you. I'm going to lay it on you. Um, uh, all these conspiracy theories, uh, when you have, yeah, there's some stuff going on out there. There's some stuff going on. But I heard one conspiracy theory today that there's, I, I don't know if I got the numbers right, 85,000 satellites with microwave uh, G5 potential up there in space that's going to microwave and, and cook every one of us at their discretion and everything, okay? But they don't produce... Uh, when you hear these things, all you hear is uh, the dark web. The dark web. It's out there. And it's buying and selling little girls. And it's putting satellites in space and all this. Don't believe that. Believe what you know to be true. I got into a hiff the other night on radio, and I'm obviously going to get more hiffs uh, as time goes by, when outrageous comments came up, and all I was saying was, I came on, and I'm, I'm going with a theory that we have to be responsible to our neighbors. I don't care what's happening in New York City. I, I mean, I care. I, I have empathy for the people that are suffering, but that doesn't affect me in Bell County, Texas. What affects me here is my neighborhood. Now, we've got a pack together now to keep this virus out of the neighborhood. That's, that's the pack. Keep the virus out of the neighborhood. If we can do that much, we've done our part to keep our community safe. Simple as that. I can't help New York City. I can't help San Antonio. Okay, But we got to do our part for our, our people. And if everybody will do that. And I've done some checking, and this is not a conspiracy theory. This is me making personal phone calls to talking to people in Denver, talking to people in Brigham City, Utah, talking to people around, how bad is it? What's really going on? And I'm getting pictures from, like, uh, uh, Brigham uh, showing one of my nephews standing in front of a full grocery store. A full grocery store. Wondering why that area is not running out of toilet paper. Because Procter & Gamble makes toilet paper in Brigham City, Utah. Okay. Uh, there are going to be large large uh, groups of people, and you're going to see spikes in this thing. New York, where people live shoulder to shoulder. Detroit, where the poverty levels through the roof. New Orleans, the same thing. When you have, It's the same thing in India, 
Africa, places like that, where people are just, by the, their lifestyle, they have to rub up against each other. That's that's what we're going through. <clears throat> when you get out in West Texas, where you got two fa two ranchers living in a county, you don't have to worry about this. Okay, you have to worry about it. It doesn't mean the virus isn't there. It doesn't mean it's not deadly under certain circumstances. What it means is, use your common sense. And we're learning. We're learning. <clears throat> America will never be the same. Uh, from after after Casey Nunez's video, I will forever be aware. When I walk into a store, I'm walking over everybody's spit. I will forever be aware of that. I will forever be aware that I don't want to go into a sit-down restaurant anymore and have people I do not see cook my food. I'll always be aware, and you will too. You'll th you might not. You might, I'm going to eat that steak, no but you'll be aware. You'll be aware. I'll be aware always that you really don't want to shake anybody's hand. You don't. You don't know where their hands have been. They've been scratching their butt for all you know. You don't know. We'll always be aware of this common sense. And if we use the, <clears throat> excuse me, if we use the common sense, not only will this virus abate, uh, you'll notice that we don't have as bad of a flu season. There won't be as many colds. Maybe not as much cancer. You never can tell. You never can tell. Um, I wash my hands many times a day. That's why I can scratch my head. I don't, I have absolutely taken Governor Abbott's advice and I have sequestered myself, period. I've had one human being near me in the last 28 days. And she was in the county jail for three months, or three weeks, I'm sorry, three weeks. Absolutely clean bill of health. Nothing wrong with her. We interacted at the customary eight feet, a period of 15 minutes, okay? Other than that, the only, the only person that's here I even call it a person, is my dog. And my dog is corona-free. All right. So you've got to take these things. Now, let's get back to these conspiracy theories. The butcher shop is making a right turn. I've talked to a lot of the members, and they agree with me. And and like I said, I'm going to get in a huge argument, and there's going to be a lot of ad hominem attacks, and we're going to get into that, too. We're going to, going to be a good video. You're going to love this. Um I don't buy into the dark web. I don't buy into the Illuminati. I don't buy into the New World Order. I don't buy into any of that. I think it's fun to play with, you know, when times are good. But when, when, the, when the chips are down, you got to just deal with reality, okay? I have never personally met an FBI agent. I know they exist because I watch the movies, okay? I've never met one, right? Are there people out there planting big plants? Yeah, yeah. But they ain't got no money no more. Simple. And you can call me an old drunk, and we're going to address that right now. Okay. I drink whiskey, okay? It is a fact. Here you go. I'll show you. Right here. Right here. Okay? That's whiskey. I drink whiskey. I'm a Texan. All right? But when I don't appear on a radio show because I worked in my house yesterday and cleaned it up, and I was tired at 830, and I went to bed and went to sleep, and, and um, I missed the show because I was asleep, and somebody makes a, a comment uh, that uh, uh, I was probably on the juice again or something like that. Do I look like I'm on the juice right now? My nose is right there. No, I'm not. It's simple as that. So when you hit me with an ad hominem attack and everything, number one, we've all sinned. We've all fallen short of the glory, okay? That part of the glory I ain't fallen short of, you yep. know? Now, I did take a 16-year-old girl into Mexico, changed my citizenship, got married, and raised two fine sons. Bet you ain't mad. Bet you ain't mad. Okay? But this, this is some serious business, and we're all learning. The shoe thing, I kind of thought about that, but until Casey pointed to it like that, I said, wait, this is serious business. And so I sprayed my bottom of my shoes with, with uh, sanitizer. No, there no, wasn't nothing there. I hadn't been in a store in, I've been seven, eight, nine days now. So I'm probably safe. Okay? But I did, I did when I learned something like that, I take it to, to, to heart. <clears throat> I take it to heart. But these things, I watched Dr. Phil yesterday, and he brought up something very interesting that I didn't know. And I'm always talking about, with my buddy, uh, psychological bullcrap. Well, I learned some yesterday. 
a fight or flight is supposed to last about three to five seconds. Uh, frankly, uh, they're reaching for their gun, you're reaching for yours, and it's all over. It's not supposed to last for three weeks. That makes your brain secrete a chemical that damages your, your immune system, it makes you depressed, it makes you confused, it makes you tired, it disrupts your sleep schedule, all that. So stop it. Stop it. Obey what, uh, and I know, you're gonna, uh, and all these conspiracy buffs are, oh, don't know what the government says. No. When you hear Dr. Fauci and other people tell you certain things to do, do it. And then when you get extra information that's not conspiracy, clean your shoes off because you've been walking through snot, that's not conspiracy. That's common sense. That's common sense. And don't listen to these people that are trying to tell you that the Illuminati is going to take over the world and there's going to be a one world government. Right now, we're tribalizing. This is what I just said in the early part of this video. We're forming community groups. Everybody outside the community is, is not part of the, the group. We're tribalizing. Okay, it's as simple as that. These people use fear mongering to keep you with that fight or flight thing going. You know, start using your head. Start using your head. Okay? Now, this is all I'm going to say on this video, and I know I'm going to take some rap trap. Um, I think I'm going to be on the radio tonight, and, and I'm going to hit this. I'm going to hit this because I think that just like Franklin Roosevelt said, the only thing we've got to fear is fear itself.